Hello guys, welcome to another video on Made in Bloom. I just wanted to give you a little warning that in this video you will hear the presence of a very specific <laughs> charm about being in Provence, France, which are the cicadas. They are always there, always present, like having your own background sound. Um, and it can sometimes be a bit overwhelming, but they will be part of the video and I hope you're still able to enjoy it and hear what I'm saying without too much issues. Um, otherwise, I'll let you enjoy the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys! Hi guys! <laughs> I have a feeling that this might be the loudest video I've ever made, like in the loudest space I've ever been while making a video. Um, so first of all, how are you? I hope you guys are well. I hope you're enjoying your summer holiday or just the summer, wherever you are. I know for another part of the world, they're going into winter. I hope your transition is good there too. But somehow I always like imagine the people that follow me are uh, on this side of the weather cycle. <laughs> say that I am currently in a very beautiful place. Um, it's called Le Père Branche. I hope I'm not butchering that. And it's a bit out of Toulon and we were doing a volunteering workaway experience here. And today's going to be one of our last nights. So I thought, let me make a little video in this beautiful space. Delphine has gotten a chance to play her music. Um, she has had sound journeys. We both learned about permaculture um, and contributing to other people's dreams and learning as we go along before we get our own space, learning from other people's great choices, learning from their cautionary tales, learning from their mistakes. It's just been a really rewarding time. But I just wanted to make a little short video. If the audio is good, I'll use it. If not, I might use this for something else. But I just wanted to talk about living a life from trust versus fear and making choices from trust versus fear. I talk a lot about this when I'm facilitating holistic sessions um, because I know that in the world we live in, like it's kind of like how also subjects like scarcity versus abundance are very important and how you are raised to think about those two things or how you're raised in different parts of your life based on those two things like you can have a scarcity or abundant mindset when it comes to all kinds of things in your life it can be from food it can be from love it can be from opportunities from money health all of the things um, I also think that we can be motivated either from fear or trust right and you might not notice what is leading your life, but you might notice that maybe you are more responsive when it's about emergencies, when it's about anxiety induced um, inner leadership. Just like with scarcity and abundance, you can have a way of leading your life that is either motivated by fear or by trust. Um, and of course, everything has its place, right? There's nothing bad in those things, in, in fear or good in trust. Sometimes you can trust things you shouldn't trust. Sometimes you can fear things you shouldn't fear. It's more having discernment and having intentionality and having responsibility. So meaning that you're responding rather than reacting um, and living from a place of true agency and choosing for yourself. I think this is especially good for us if we are really prone to having anxieties um, and being motivated or living life or navigating life from a place of anxiety. Like from all the things we fear, all the things we think could go wrong, all the things we don't want to happen. Um, and for a long time, I realized when I was younger, when I used to go to school, I noticed that when I used to go into exam rooms, like to do exams, I was more motivated by what I did not want to happen versus what I was looking forward to happen, right? And it was the first time I recognized that a lot of the things I did, even when I did well, it was more based on what I feared happening if I didn't do well, rather than actually what I wanted to happen, having to fruition, like going from a place of trust and excitement and joy. Um, I would often like be guided by, okay, maybe I didn't want to feel shame. Maybe I didn't want to feel disappointed. So like a lot of the things I was doing was from wanting to protect my inner 
Latina South that didn't have a lot of stability and security and confidence, which is already a few tips on how we can actually work on that and live from a place of moving in the direction of trust, moving in the direction of joy, moving in the direction of uh, confidence within ourselves and the life we live. Um, and I think that basically also comes from you having spaces where you can practice trusting life, trusting yourself. Um, and I think like on a bigger scale, this is where also my own spirituality comes into play. I remember once a, a long time ago posting something about how for me, like remembering that when I came into this world, I was so small and so fragile and so needing of everything around me to help me, to care for me, to support me, um, to literally guide me through life, right? When, I, when we come into this world, we have nothing. We have no way of defending ourselves. We have no way of feeding ourselves, no way of protecting ourselves. And in many ways, we are dependent on other people doing all of those things for us, which for me, I always try to look at those things and say, well, that would also make me feel like, okay, of course, there's vulnerability, but there's a sort of trust as well that comes from that, that from nature's perspective, in that way, there is a trust when a human is created, when a human comes into the world, that they're given to a community that is supposed to nurture them, that is supposed to um, raise them, that's supposed to protect them, that's supposed to feed them, and all of those things. You can't do that. You are totally dependent when you come on this earth. And yet, here you are. If you've made it this far in your life where you can watch and understand this, you've survived the most precious and most vulnerable part of your life. Um, and vulnerable is in like you had also no way of defending yourself or protecting yourself. Now, this is not to say like I've shared in my own history that they've a lot, there've been a lot of shit that happened um, from the people who are supposed to take care of me or nurture me that I don't necessarily think were the greatest things to nurture me into a holistically well-rounded human being. But then that's where like the beauty of trust in life beyond people, right, comes into play and trust within myself as well the human capability like even on a biological level ability the need and the desire for hope and being able to be resilient there is something in me that also draws my trust from that that we are resilient we are resilient people we are capable of rising up from the ashes and we are able of alchemizing so even when bad things happen to you you have the ability to turn them into things that are valuable i always think about that when i think about my own upbringing i when i think about the things i went through when i think about the trauma I've had to heal and continue to work on so I don't live from that space um, but I think about those things and how much more sensitive they've also made me to the world how much more sensitive they've made me to other people's suffering or other people's perspective and also even when I see my own sessions that I have with people that all of those things actually are things that I can now use to help and better guide people going through those things. And in a wild way, like that's also a form of obviously alchemy, the things that were destructive and were um, shameful, the things that were destructive to my foundation as a being by facing them, by embracing them, by showing compassion to them, by bringing light into them, by sharing them. Because when I talk about those things, I bring light to those places. My Healing came a lot from talking and to not keep secrets and to not stay in the dark and all of those things. So when I think about all of that and the ability of all of those things now to be also what sustains me, like how I make a living, how I make money, how I take care of myself, the lack of care I received as a child, understanding and healing and alchemizing that is taking care of me as an adult. That for me gives me a sense of trust in life. That for me gives me a sense of trust in myself. And that for me gives me a sense of trust in my path in life and in my destiny here on earth. Because I can see through the things that I've experienced, through the ways I've shown up in life, that things always find a way to work out. If you're really sincere about it, if you're really diligent about it, if you are consistently going to show up for yourself, for life as well, I keep knowing and I keep being confirmed in the fact that things always work out for the best 
of all there that is that gives me also a sense of trust i trust how we are here i trust why we are here and i trust that because of the way i see that life is created especially like you guys know i love nature i love spending time in nature i love learning about nature that's why i also like living on this uh, beautiful land and learning about permaculture surrounded by olive trees and fig trees and seeing like how seeds become nutrition how they grow and bloom and multiply to feed like that's abundance right nature is abundant you can take one seed and feed an entire family um so that lets me know that there is more than enough in anything that i imagine there is more than enough to nurture to take care and even a surplus <laughs> on top of that so that gives me a sense of comfort and trust like in a in the biggest structure right they can be like maybe fears and distrust within like maybe your surroundings within your political setting within your culture within your family setting or even like intimate relationships but when i think about my own spirituality and how connected it is to the wisdom of life i think that is my spirituality the wisdom of life i can see the echoes of everything is abundance everything is here for a reason and everything plays its part and everything is part of the bigger whole so because i believe in that it's also easy for me to trust life and to know that even when things don't work out the way i'd want them to i still trust that there's another solution that rejection is redirection i trust that things will find a way to fall into place and because i trust this and i move according to that but somehow things turn out to work out eventually things always work out eventually and i always say to myself even if eventually means i die and i my soul goes back to where it came from that is also things working out and i know that's maybe a bit grim for some people and i still need to make that video about death and how my perspective of death really influences how i live life and how i have more courage and more ability to trust in life but just a snippet of that i truly do believe that because of all of those things that i believe in my spirituality my connection to all that is life nature us <laughs> all the beings that live with us um it's hard for me to live from a place of fear and also i can sense in myself when i have that sense of fear it's kind of like when you put your hand on a burning stove like your body's letting you know like remove your hand fear is also that to serve as a purpose sometimes we are having thoughts that are maybe legitimate in the moment like something makes you feel afraid or you feel like there's a, a weird vibe and you need to protect yourself from it and so then you need to act but you're not supposed to live in there you're not supposed to constantly make your choices from a place of fear and mistrust in life and mistrust in yourself um or just anxiety there's place to make choices from a place of what i want to happen not what i fear happening what i look forward to experiencing and if i do take steps towards those things and let's say something doesn't work out i'm still like okay what can i learn from here what can i take from here like everything for me even when it doesn't work out is a lesson because i see that again it's purposeful and because i see that purposeful i can apply it to my life and because i can apply it to my my life it still plays an important and positive role in my path on my path right um i just wanted to share that with you guys especially if you're out there trying to make your dreams come true if you're trying to manifest a way of living if you're trying to manifest a partner i hope that it's guided by all the things you have faith in all the things that you believe in all the things that you have confidence in and that you know that life is rooting for you to succeed because life wants everything in it to thrive <laughs> literally life wants life to thrive and you're part of that if everything else doesn't make sense to you at least know that that life wants you to thrive um and because i believe the universe wants us to thrive or you can say god why wouldn't it want to help you to reach your goals and reach your dreams why would it give you dreams that you cannot accomplish or dreams that are unreachable right um which also makes me remember that i want to make a video about like creating a beautiful path to the dreams you have um so that every part of it is enjoyable because i think like that's something i've been learning a lot something that i decided for myself a long time but while visiting all these different projects we're also having the opportunity to see people's dreams in fruition and see the cost of those dreams or how they're being in those dreams like positively and negatively 
And it's really like affirming that part of me that is so important that I want the journey to always be as purposeful, as enjoyable, as sustainable and holistic as the destination, because that for me matters just as much. Um, but yeah, so basically just going back from that place of finding a way to navigate your life from a place of trust. I think if you learn more about trusting life, about paying attention to how life functions, the systems and patterns in life, um, and building your own inner spiritual um, strength, whether that is through your spiritual practice, religious, or just your awareness that you're part of something bigger than you. You did not bring yourself here and you did not take care of yourself when you first came into the world. You didn't even know you had to trust, but it was like a part of you being born to as a human. You needed to trust. You were vulnerable and you needed to be taken care of. And I think it's something that nature does in the beginning and the end of our life to remind us of that. Like when you're young, you're here and you're being taken care of. Um, and then when you are old and you're exiting the world you also need to be taken care of again you need to trust again you need to surrender because maybe there's a things that you cannot you cannot do for yourself anymore all of those things require you to trust we need to trust that the people around us are going to care for us we need to trust that things are going to work out we need to trust that life is not against us but is for us I hope that this reaches whoever needed to hear it. Um, I hope you take whatever resonates. I feel like I could explain this even better, but I just really wanted to talk about it really quickly and briefly. Um, and I hope it makes sense to you. And I hope it gives you something to work with. Otherwise, as always, I hope you're well. I hope you're blooming wherever you're planted. And I hope that everything around you is rooting for you. If not the people, if not the circumstances, if it's not the family or friends, everything in your body literally is created to root for your survival and thrival. So knowing that that's how you are created to function as a being, I hope that gives you faith and trust in yourself, in your essence, in your place in the world. And I hope that supports you in whatever dream and whatever full thriving full self you want to exist on this planet as others as always i will see you in my next video so take care bye guys oh 20 minutes not bad you can definitely work with that